MMAfighting.com and I am joined by Paul. Scott. <laughs> you just squat. Do you not think, am I not fashionable now? I look smart, yeah. Thanks very much. There's been a lot of talk, Paul, about your fight with Charlie um, not being on the main card. Am I right in thinking that you don't really care as usual? <laughs> the earlier the better. I hope I was forced out the whole night. Because <laughs> like, the last time Bellator rocked into town, it was uh, I got a call on late notice. And it was a like, co-promoter with Bama. So usually Bellator would uh, be on later. And then so you would wait for the Bama card to finish up. Then Bellator comes on. So then for whatever reason, Bellator ended up being forced. I was forced fighting the Bellator card, so I was forced fighting the whole night. It was fucking brilliant. <laughs> but is it is it not something like with Sky Sports? Like this is a big deal. Like the fact that you be in every all the Sky Sports is I've done all the ESPNs, they have USCs on Fox. I've done it all. <laughs> no interest at all, really. I wish, yeah, I couldn't give a fuck. No, I like everyone's. Every anyone who wants to see it, yeah, my fight will get it somewhere. It'll be released at some stage, so people are going to see it. It's great that the Sky Sports deal is in place, because it does bring new eyes on it from an eyes point of view. Um, but it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers, as much as it bothers the media outlets. What? What? Like, I mean, everybody's talking about how high level this fight is. What do you think of Charlie as an opponent? Like, from when you've looked, you've seen of him? Yeah, tough guy. Uh, around a long time, like myself. Um, I think we've got the most fights between us. Um, I think we've got like something like forty odd fights between us. So uh, really experienced guys, and I, I, I think you'll see a bit of a, a chess match in there rather than the, the usual guys going out and pinging the head off each other wild, you know. So I think it's it's going to be a it's going to be a nice nice technical fight. Um, do you put pressure on yourself at all in these situations, like to get a finish? Do you ever be thinking about that kind of thing ahead of a fight, like, or do you just let it happen when you're in there? I think the more you f the more you think about it and sort of look for it it doesn't happen it's it's like you're trying to force it you do go out for the finish like but you it's, it's a weird one like to say because you don't know where you could you could say right i'm gonna rear naked choke this guy and the guy could have a great rear naked choke defense and something else will pop up and you go for that and you get the top off an armor or you know something something tricky like that uh so i think the more you plan it, the more you force it, it doesn't happen. It's like forcing a knockout. Cunt's going swinging. Uh, shit, I'm wondering if it's in course. Uh, guys going out and swinging and stuff like that, and then you can see it a mile away. It doesn't happen. Uh, so, no, if it pops up, uh, you know you know me, I'll take it all day to the, to the bank. It's um, This card in particular, everybody's talking about the, the magnitude of it, like the fact that a lot of people are clamoring to be here. Do you think the fact that Irish MMA, we haven't had many shows recently, do you think that's kind of feeding the appetite to see everybody here? I think um, I think they're, they're doing the right thing in, in terms of putting a lot, a lot of Irish fighters on it. Makes sense. Fill it out with a, an Irish card or people are going to go and see it. It sells it out. Um, I think with the Sky Sports deal in place, it's going to bring new eyes on it uh, because there hasn't been a deal like that in place in a long time. I know uh, you've got, I mean, the Die Hard fans, they'll find a way to watch a fight. They'll geo block this, links to this, you know, they'll find. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I see him. Are you the one that posts me the links? <laughs> uh, no, so they'll, they'll find a way somehow, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, and they will do it. I just think the Sky Sports deal. Brings a whole lot of convenience to people now. It's like, wait, what time is Bellator on that? Bang, go watch a few fighters. A lot of people, when this was uh, signed, all these Irish guys got signed, including yourself, a lot of them were like, will this see Paul Redman going across to the States and challenging guys that are in the rankings here? If you get a win against Charlie, is, is that what you want to do? Would you like to get in against some of the US guys? Yeah, so um, d d we had. Uh, I got asked to fight uh, Charlie, accepted it within like a couple of seconds. And then two weeks later, um, they came, uh, Bellator came back to me and said, look, uh, do you want to fight this guy in, in the States? It was a card that happened uh, not last week, the week before, I think, or it could have been last week. Um, so it meant I would have been on a short, short time frame with a new opponent uh, with lesser time. And not competing in front of your hometown crowd. Yeah, in the first one, and, uh, you know, uh, it's not the opponent that I turned down. I was like, well, hang on a minute. You give me a, you give me an opponent here. Yeah, we're doing that. It's in Ireland. It makes sense. So we stuck with our original opponent. If they if they offer me that opponent after this fight, let's do it. 
But once they once they say right, this little guy are fighting, well then that's the guy I'm fighting. You know, there's not there was there, there would be no need to change it. But for after this fight, yeah, they, they've asked me a couple of times to uh, sort out my working visa for America. So they're looking to get me on the American cards. It, it'll come. Anyone particularly uh, wet and the old appetite who you'd like to take on? No, I don't. Uh, I try not to think about that ahead of the fight that I'm at because then you're counting chickens before you hatch and stuff like that. Uh, so you know, Sunday we'll sit down. I mean, Seth and Andy, and we'll have a chat about all that uh, after the fight. I believe your Sunday is already booked up uh, where your niece going to take her for pancakes, I believe. I saw you playing dolls there today on Instagram. Very impressive. That was yesterday. Uh, LOL dolls. She was hanging around the house, and she was like, let's play. I was like, all right, sound. So then she was asking me, like, uh, where I got my hair did and stuff like that. And <laughs> we were going with chicken nuggets. And I'm like, yeah, I'm cutting weight, missus. So uh, day of pancakes on Sunday, then... Um, yeah, probably be a step and so So uh, <laughs> might have a drink down if I look in you know? Yeah, like I mean, I see a lot of you. Like you spend a lot of time with your nieces. Is that a, a good tonic for the fight game because that's so serious and there's so much talking, there's so much training your body. Is, is it nice to have that downtime? It's just like buzzing off them because they don't talk as much sack as adults. Yeah, they really don't. Uh, all they want to do is just come over like that. Let's play LOL dolls. Great. Instead of you know. What do you think about this opponent and you're not on the main card? And I don't give a shit about that. Let's go play LOL dolls and go with pancakes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Reds. Always a pleasure. Yeah, sweet.